Friday of the 30th week in ordinary time. The first reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus, to all the holy ones in Christ Jesus who were in Philippi, with the bishops and the deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in my every prayer for all of you, because of your partnership for gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. It is right that I should think this way about all of you, because I hold you in my heart. You were all, all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song taken from the Psalm number 111. How great are the works of the Lord! I give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, he exists it in all their delights. Response: How great are the works of the Lord! Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Response How great are the work of the Lord! He has given food to those who fear Him. He will forever be mindful of His covenant. He has made known to His people the power of His work, giving them the inheritance of the nations. Response How great are the works of the Lord! Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. The Gospel reading taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure on a Sabbath or not? But they kept silent, so he took the man and after he had healed him, dismissed him. And then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into the cistern, would not immediately put him out of the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praised be Jesus Christ. Friday of the 30th week in ordinary time, inviting Jesus. 
on a sabbath jesus went to town at the home of one of the leading pharisees and the people there were observing him carefully luke 14:1 this line from the beginning of today's gospel reveals two things worth pondering first jesus went to town at the home of one of the leading pharisees this was no small thing in fact it was most likely the source of much discussion among the people and other pharisees it shows us that jesus does not play favorites he did not only come for the poor and weak and he also came for the conversion of the wealthy and the powerful too often we forget that simple fact jesus came for all people loves all people and responds to invitations from all who want to have him in their lives of course this passage also reveals that jesus was not afraid to come to the home of this leading pharisee and challenge him and his guests so as to move them to change of heart second this passage states that people were observing him carefully perhaps some were just curious and were looking for something to talk about later with their friends but others were most likely observing him carefully because they truly wanted to understand him they could tell there was something unique about jesus and they wanted to know more about him these two lessons should encourage us to realize that jesus does love us and will respond to our openness to his presence in our lives all we have to do is ask and be open to him coming to dine with us we should also learn from the witness of those who were observing him carefully they revealed to us the good desire we should have to keep our eyes fixed on jesus though some who observed him carefully turned against him and mocked him there were others who observed him carefully and embraced jesus and his message reflect today upon your willingness to invite jesus into the home of your heart and life's situation know that he will accept any invitation you offer and as jesus comes to you give him your full attentiveness observe all that he says and does and let his presence and message become the foundation of your life lord i do invite you into my heart i invite you into every situation of my life please come dwell with me in my family come dwell with me at work among friends in my hardships during my despair and in all things help my attentiveness to you and your will and lead me to all you have in store for my life jesus i trust in you